I'm going to show you how to make individual chip shop style cheese and onion pies. They're lovely and cheesy and melt in the middle and perfect for a meat free dinner. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Chris and I are both from the north of England where pie is practically part of the culture. We now live on the south coast and it's very hard to beat fish and chips by the sea but I do really miss those pies sometimes and it can be quite hard to get hold of them down here. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by preheating the oven to 200C or 400F. For this recipe I'm using shop bought short crust pastry but if you wanted to make your own you can check out my Cornish pasty video where I make my own pastry and that will work just fine for this recipe too. Unroll a 320 gram roll, which is about 11 ounces of pastry, and slice it into four squares. Line four individual pie dishes with the pastry squares, so the pastry covers the base and sides and overhangs slightly. So you use these extra bits at the end of the roll just to ensure you're completely covering the base and sides of the pie dish. Now if you wanted to go with a large pie you can go ahead and do that but I wanted to go with that individual chip shop vibe so I'm using these little cheap tin foil tins. Once the pie dishes are covered in pastry, use a fork to prick several holes in the base section of the pastry. Cover each pie case with baking parchment and fill with baking beans. I like to scrunch up the baking parchment so it gets right into the edges of the pie. For the baking beans, you can actually buy baking beans or you can use any kind of dried beans or rice. This is so we can blind bake the base of the pie so it's going to be lovely and crispy all the way around. Place on a tray and bake in the oven for 10 minutes to park up the base of the pies. Whilst the pastry cases are baking in the oven, we're going to start on the filling. So I've got a potato here that's been diced into quite small pieces and we're going to add that to a pan and cover with cold water. Bring to the boil and simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes until the potato is very tender and starting to break apart. Once the pastry is cooked for 10 minutes, remove the pie bases from the oven and leave to cool for 10 minutes. Now those potatoes should be ready, so we're going to drain them and put them to one side. Now we're going to make the gooey, cheesy filling for the pies. Take two tablespoons of unsalted butter and add them to a pan over a medium heat. Add a finely sliced onion to the pan, stir and cook for five minutes until the onion starts to soften. Chris's mum used to make these for him when he was a little boy, but he didn't like the texture of the onions. So she used to replace the onions with a good pinch of onion powder instead, so you get the flavour of the onions without the texture. Once the onions have softened, sprinkle over two tablespoons of plain all-purpose flour and cook for another minute, continuously stirring. Now we're going to add in 180ml, which is about three quarters of a cup of whole milk. We're going to add this in a splash at a time while stirring until the milk is fully incorporated. Once the milk is fully incorporated and at this consistency, we're going to add in 50ml, which is a little over three tablespoons of double or heavy cream plus 150 grams or a cup and a half of mature cheddar cheese, a quarter of a teaspoon each of mustard powder and salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. We'll also add in those cooked potatoes too. Stir together until the cheese is melted and the potatoes break down. The filling should be thick and only just pourable. Divide the filling between the four pie cases. So 
now we're going to trim these edges, that's the cook's treat, and then we're going to brush the edges with a little bit of egg wash to the top of ears. Add a square of short crust pastry on top of each pie. Now cut off any excess pastry again and crimp the edges of the pastry together using a fork. Brush the tops of the pies with egg wash and pierce two holes in the top of each pie using a sharp knife to let out any steam. Place the pies back in the oven and bake for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown. Just look at that, they're going to be so delicious. I love to serve them just like this, warm from the oven. And another absolute classic that we love is Cornish pasties. In that video, I'll show you how to make your own pastry too. See you next time.